Up to 1925, radios were powered by several batteries each. It was Canadian Edward called Ted Rogers Sr., who, only 24 years old, in 1924 got the Canadian license from Frederick S. McCullough for his newly developed indirectly heated AC tubes and improved the tubes so they could be used in radios powered by AC household current. First radios had to be plugged into her home's light sockets. The new tubes had their filament connectors overhead at the tube's top far away from the cathodes into which they would induce hum. The 1926 model 220 was the first AC-powered one-dial TRF, tuned radio frequency receiver, then sold less speaker but often combined with the horn speaker shown here. The chassis has three parts, the new power supply using a Raytheon gaseous rectifier tube type BH the three-stage RF tuner and the transformer-coupled audio amplifier. The top view is dominated by the distribution system for the overhead filament voltage of 2.8 volt at 1 ampere, which is controlled by a line voltage adapter and monitored by an AC ampere meter. The speaker was made by the company Newcomb Hawley in St. Charles, Illinois. It is called the Concert Grand Speaker and consists of an 84-inch long folded exponential horn from paper fiber with a magnetic driver unit by Nathaniel Baldwin. The same radio but in one part is known as Rogers Batteryless Model 200A also from 1926. Let's listen to this wonderful museum piece.
up to $1,000 cash bonus on most models. Lisa Sensa from the low of $158 a month with zero down and 0.9% APR for three months. That's the like paying $30,000 a month for a month. Call Lisa Sensa at 1200 Nissan is Canada's fastest growing automotive brand. Based on full-line brands on 12 months year-over-year rolling unit sales. Hurry, May bonus days and soon. See your Nissan dealer.